Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Richard's Film Snap, a bit of must-know film photography wisdom in two minutes or less. We'll be done in a snap. Because film is so great at handling highlights in a natural-looking way, many photographers use it to achieve a light and airy look in their images. So, how exactly can you expose your film to attain that oh-so-dreamy style in your photos? After all, your final image is only as good as your exposed negative. Film is all about precise metering, and to do that, you're going to need a handheld light meter. Handheld light meters are always the best choice. They are much more accurate and dependable than the internal light meter in your camera. You're going to want to meter for your shadows. By capturing lots of details in the dark areas of the image, the lab can actually increase the overall lightness level in scanning while maintaining the details in your shot. You'll also want to overexpose your film. Do this by rating it at about half the box speed. But don't overdo it! Too much overexposure can cause colors in your image to shift. And sometimes extreme overexposure results in a darker scan because, in an effort to preserve the definition in the midtones, the overall lightness of the image must be reduced, which is the opposite of what you want. Lastly, when you place your order with the lab, let us know that you want your scans to be brighter. Another way to say this is scan for shadow detail. Either way, your film will be scanned to look like it's swimming in a luminous glow. And that's what you need to know to get that light and airy look in your film images. Wasn't that a snap? <laughs>